Today, for our Math Strategies video, we're going to be talking about area and perimeter. We will be building on our understanding of area and perimeter while using models and formulas to help us find area and perimeter. The perimeter is, is the distance all the way around the outside of a two-dimensional shape, space, or area. If you were to walk the edge of your playground, you are walking the perimeter of your playground. So finding the perimeter, we're going to be adding up all the sides. So in this case, our figure has is 7 centimeters by 2 centimeters, another 7 centimeters here on the bottom, and 2 centimeters here on the side. So in order to find the perimeter of this object, I'm going to be adding up all my sides. So I would say 7 plus 2 plus 7 plus another 2 centimeters. Okay, which would give me 18 centimeters. So the perimeter or the outside edge of this figure is 18 centimeters. We could also say 7 plus 2 times 2, as we are simply adding 7 plus 2 twice. Okay, Area is the amount of space inside a closed two-dimensional figure. So if you're thinking about vacuuming carpets or mowing a lawn, you are focused more on the area and not the perimeter because it's, it's the space inside that figure. Okay, so you can see here the area is length times width. We could say length would be 4, the width would be 3, so 4 times 3 is going to give us 12. And in this particular figure, I can count the squares as well to help me check my answer. Um, we can also use the perimeter to help us find the area of a figure. So let's take a look at this figure. Um, I know that one side is 5, and I know that the perimeter is 24. So if I know that this side here is 5 in a rectangle, then the opposite side must also be 5. Okay, so if I take that 5 and that 5 together, I'm going to get 10. So I have already accounted for 10 of the perimeter of this figure. Okay. So then I know that I have 14 left, okay, because I said 24, which is the total perimeter, and I took away 10 because that's what's known to get 14. Now I know I can't put 14 here just on one side, but I can split it apart, okay? I could say 14 divided by 2, which would give me 7. So I know that the length of this side would be 7 because the length of this side would also be 7. Now, in order to find the area, I just need the length and the width. And in this case, it would be 7 times 5, which would give me 35. So the area of this figure would be 35. So remember, as you work these problems with area and perimeter, perimeter is the distance around the edge of the shape, and area is the amount of space inside the shape. 